Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and this is MedPick's Case of the Week, number 635. A 57-year-old woman presents now with painless proptosis and diplopia. We have an axial T1-weighted fat-suppressed MR with gadolinium, and a coronal T1-weighted MR fat-suppressed with gadolinium. Look carefully at these two images and consider the differential diagnostic possibilities. What is your diagnosis? This patient has Graves' disease, or thyroid ophthalmopathy. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder, clinically characterized by painless proptosis and ophthalmoplegia. It is typically seen in young female patients and is associated with thyrotoxicosis. The pathology involves infiltration of the extraocular muscles by lymphocytes, plasma cells, and mast cells with a deposition of mucopolysaccharides. The intraconal fat may also be involved. Cross-sectional imaging by CT and MR typically demonstrates enlargement of the extraocular muscles with characteristic sparing of the tendinous attachments to the muscle on the globe or the eyeball. In the classic pattern, involvement is more severe at the inferior and medial rectus muscles and less commonly involves the lateral and superior rectus muscles. The vast majority of patients, over 80%, will show bilateral muscle involvement. If we look at this axial image and we draw a line between the zygomatic process, we can see that both of the eyeballs are far forward. The patient has proptosis. We can also identify that even though the enhancing extraocular muscles demonstrate enlargement, there is sparing of the tendinous insertion of the muscle on the eyeball. This is characteristic of Graves' disease and may be a differential feature in distinguishing this process from orbital pseudotumor. If we look at the coronal image, we can see that there is bilateral involvement of the extraocular muscles with thickening and increased contrast enhancement. It is fairly symmetric, but if we look at the pattern of involvement, the inferior rectus muscles are affected, the medial rectus muscles are involved, as well as the superior rectus muscles. However, the lateral rectus muscles show a lesser degree of involvement. This is the characteristic pattern that we see in thyroid ophthalmopathy, or Graves' disease, with the muscles being involved in this characteristic pattern from bottom to top. Thank you very much for your attention.